me, Daddy. I don't feel so good. What's wrong? My belly hurting me. I don't think I can go to school tomorrow. Our son Nathan is many things. He's smart, a gifted footballer. He's also the best at conjuring up illnesses when midterms are looming. Nathan has a mathematics midterm tomorrow morning. So him being sick today is no surprise to us. The last time Nathan had exams, he claimed to have leprosy. I wanted to go down to the hot pot and dip seven times. Then there was a time he had sudden onset paralysis. Nathan, is this another one of your schemes to get out of exams? Daddy, are you serious? I don't feel so good. Is this like the time you claim to have parvo after playing with the neighbor's dog? Are you serious? I tell him the... I tell... <clears throat> Irvin, I think he may be telling the truth this time. Yeah, it seems so. Mommy, Daddy, can I talk to you for a minute? Tracy, no, it's not a good time. It won't take long, I promise. I'm going to go and check on Nathan. OK, join you in a second. Daddy, I just wanted to tell you that you're looking really well. And... Tracy, what do you want? A group of my friends from school are going to a beach house for mid-semester break. OK. Where is the beach house? In Bahamas. Oh, that's easy. No. But Daddy, you didn't even give me a chance to explain uh, Tracy, Tracy, gonna... Tracy, we'll have to talk about this later. Right now, your brother is sick, and we're trying to figure out what's wrong with him. Oh, is he pretending to have mad co disease again? No, it seems this time that he isn't playing. Look, I promise. When we get some time, we'll talk about your little trip. All right? Okay. Hun, Nathan isn't pretending. We need to take him to the doctor. Go and bring around your van. What? My van? Yes, your van. Well, it's just that. If he, he's been vomiting, I, he might need to lay down. And my seats don't recline. Irvin, are you serious? Our only son is sick and you are thinking hard about putting him in your vehicle? Why don't you call Dr. Sailor see if he's available? He makes house calls all the time. Okay. Can you go and make some ginger tea? It will help settle Nathan's stomach. I'm going to go and check on him. The man hiding behind the column is Angela's brother, Anderson. He lived in England for several years, and he was a successful investment banker. Somewhere along the line, he had a nervous breakdown and was sent back to Barbados, where he now works as a security guard at Angela's workplace. Recently, his condition worsened. So he's living here with us so we can keep an eye on him. He has his good days and his bad days. Today seems to be one of his good days. Anderson, what are you? Shh. They can hear you. Oh, the agents. The agents? Yes. I didn't tell you. I was approached by a man named Morpheus Gittins. He told me I would have to save the world for some evil creatures named agents. Irving, I am the one. Anderson, just... Nathan is resting in his bedroom. I couldn't get a hold of Dr. Silas, so I called David from down the street. Oh, yes, yes. David is a doctor at the hospital. He said he'll be right over. Angie, okay. you gotta be careful who you bring in here, girl. He just all over the place. And they could take the shape of anybody. Angela, you can make the tea while they try to deal with your brother. Better you than me. Anderson, did you take your medication today? Probably. Which ones are supposed to take? The red pills? Or the blue pills? 
That is probably David. Please, try to hold it down for the next 10 minutes. Hey, David. Hi, Irvin. Thanks for coming on. No problem, no problem. How you know he's a doctor? You want to see my credentials? Angela told me that Nathan is sick. Yeah, he was vomiting earlier. Come, let me take you to him. Okay, sure. wait, wait. Sign ain't making any sense here. How do you get here so fast? I just live down the street. No, no, no. No one man can move so fast. Unless... Anderson, what are you doing? Stand by Irving. Clearly, this man is an agent sent to infiltrate this family. No, seriously. I'm... What are y'all doing? We are not finished cleaning the house. But mommy, we've been cleaning all today. Can we take a break, please? A break? Since Nathan had gastro earlier this week, we have to disinfect the house. We don't know where he got the virus, so we are cleaning everything. Everything? Everything. Gastro is a serious illness. You know, when I was doing research, I found that the rise in the cases of gastroenteritis has a lot to do with climate change. What does gastro have to do with climate change? I'm glad you asked. Oh. We gotta go ask a follow-up question. It just slipped out? Jeez. Research have shown that cases of vector-borne diseases like dengue fever and waterborne diseases like gastroenteritis have risen due to climate change. See, changing weather patterns mean that there are decreases or increases of rainfall, which give the vectors like mosquitoes, the chance to breed and spread diseases. Also, drought causes instances of unclean water, which is the spread of waterborne diseases. Sadly, many people don't know the connection between climate change and vector and waterborne diseases. Mommy, you should have a climate change campaign. Ow. Nathan, that is an excellent idea. We can have a national campaign to educate people on the effects of climate change. And I can get your father to help me start with the initial groundwork. And your uncle Anderson is still good with numbers, despite his condition. He can help with the initial groundwork we use to approach financial sponsors. Tracy, Nathan, this project is going to be difficult and time consuming. But? But what? It's going to be difficult and time consuming. I'm so excited about this. Let me go and make some calls. Whew. Ten more to go. Uh, I can't wait to this here so finisher. Not like me. I gotta go and get ready just now because Angela and I are meeting the Minister of Health to discuss the specifics of this climate change campaign. <laughs> well, uh, I just never cease to amaze me here. She get this thing organized so quick. <laughs> yeah, she is fairly persistent. <laughs> yep, she is. <laughs> I was thinking about Irving. There we go. <clears throat> you know we'll put this climate change campaign over the top? Look, if we had some sort of slogan or catchphrase, something like, gastro, don't live here no more. Gas troll don't live here no more. Yeah. Let me see you can't say better then. How about clean hands, no viral strands? How about dengue is gone far away since I clean my yard the other day? It is Egypti no longer bite. Since the stagnant water is out of sight. That one sounds like a song you're Irving, boy. Wait, let me see if I can still freestyle. <clears throat> well, I'm the A N D, the E R S, the rest is O N N. And I'm just here rapping on the couch with my main man, Irving. 
Now there's a situation called climate change and it's a real serious thing. Uh huh. People don't really understand the problem that it brings. But when the climate changes, it rearranges the weather in the land and causes complications for every woman, child and man. Well you said climate change causes problems but you didn't tell us how. Well sit back, relax and open your ears cause I'm gonna tell you now. You see creatures like mosquitoes, they all spread disease. And when there's more rain than usual, they breathe more frequently. And when rain doesn't fall from the sky, all around the land is dry, the water it becomes unclean. And then because of unhygiene, we start seeing all kind of diseases like like gastroenteritis. Anderson, gastroenteritis does not rain the disease. Irving, I hear freestyling. We, we really won't. Sorry, please continue. As I was saying, but I'm the A N D, the E R S, the rest is O N N. And we got some brand new slogans that we want you to tell your friends. Say gastro, don't live here no more. Gastro, don't live here Come no more. Come on now, gastro, don't live here no more. Gastro, don't live here no more. Clean hands, no viral strands. 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 No strands. Dengue is gone far away since I cleaned my yard the other day. Dengue is gone far away since I cleaned my yard the other day. 80s Egypt I no longer buy cause the stagnant water is out of sight. 80s Egypt I no longer buy cause the stagnant water is out of sight. 80s Egypt I no longer buy cause the stagnant water is out of sight. 80s Egypt I no longer buy cause the stagnant water is out of sight. <laughs> Anderson, that was real good. Really, don't quit. What we got to tell Angela? You got to fault me, boy. Where you going? Trendy call me just now. I'll go meet you at the gas station. Catch you later, Irving. I gotta hand it to you, Mummy Doll. The climate change event came off really well. And thousands of people showed up. Wow. Thank you, sweetie. I just hope that people actually learn about the effects of climate change and didn't get caught up in the hype. Yeah. I gotta ask you, though. How did you get Denzel Washington to do the featured address? Well, you know me. I can be very persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> it all came together really nicely, though. Yeah. yeah. My favorite part was Daddy and Uncle Addison's rap song. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> really brought the whole song, didn't they? Yes. <laughs> Where's Irvin and Anderson? They were right behind us. Yo, 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 I couldn't have done it without you guys. It's no problem. It's the least we could do. You support us all the time. And I want you to know, if there's any other project you want to do, rest assured, we'll be backing you 100%. <laughs> I'm glad you said so, because while we were on our way home, I saw some garbage on the road. I was thinking maybe we can do a campaign on littering. Uh... Now I know but, that little rain campaigns have been done a thousand times, but this will be one with a difference. But well, I'm the A N D, the E R S, the rest is O N N. And I'm just here rapping on the couch with my main man Irvin. Now there's a situation called climate change and it's a real serious thing. Uh huh. People don't really understand the problem that it brings. But when the climate changes, it rearranges the weather in the land and causes complications for every woman, child and man. Well you said climate change causes problems but you didn't tell us how. Well sit back, relax and open your ears cause I'm gonna tell you now. You see creatures like mosquitoes, they all spread disease. And when there's more rain than usual, they breathe more frequently. And
and rain, rain doesn't fall from the sky all around.